Today I went to Best Buy and I picked up this 4 gig uh, PNY. Uh, what does it say there? Atachi, I think. Atachi hard drive, uh, flash drive. There was a reason for this. This little pen drive contains a full copy of Ubuntu 8.10. Now, aside from um, preventing me from having to burn a to burn an ISO image onto a CD, there is actually a very specific reason why I went this route. It's because of the computer I plan to use it on. Um, one of my relatives has an old, old HP Pavilion. It's an HP Pavilion N5150. It came standard with Windows Millennium Edition. It came with a DVD CD uh, writer, I believe. It came with a PCI Express. Um, or I'm sorry, not PCI Express. Full si full sized uh, PC MCIA card, I think. Um, it came with a floppy drive. That's right, came with a floppy drive. A serial port, parallel port. Um, VGA out, or not even VGA. I think I think it was still analog out. Um, and a dial-up modem and Ethernet. No wireless on board. No um, no. Uh, uh, webcam either. Now, like I said, it came with Windows Millennium on board. We've had the computer for almost 10 years now. Haven't used it in several years because of some issues with it that I really don't want to get into. But they've rendered the computer extremely slow and just plain difficult to work with. Not to mention, Microsoft has quit, has stopped supporting Windows Millennium. It stopped supporting it in 2006. That's where this comes in. The optical drive on board the uh, pavilion is dead. Um, essentially what's going on is when you turn it on, the light on the side of the drive will just remain on constantly. You cannot eject it unless you use a pin, and if you were to try to put a disk in, it wouldn't even bother to read it. Um, and obviously, you know, we've got all of our systems, with the exception of my Mac, uh, run XP, um, and of course there's Vista out, and coming on the rise, um, sometime in September, I think is the latest word from Tech TV's Tech Update, or com.pewter.tv's uh, Tech Update for the week, they said something about Windows... Um, seven being out in September, so obviously, you know the, the 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 pavilion is outdated. The only operating system that can resurrect it is what's on this pen drive. The only operating system that can resurrect it is Linux. Um, the question I have is, um, it, it, does Windows Millennium have the facilities for the computer to boot from the drive, and um? Basically, you know, I know it. I got I got it to work on my on my Vio on my on my handheld PC uh, perfectly fine. But um, you know, d does Windows Millennium have the facilities to where I could boot the live pen drive of uh, Linux and um, basically use this thing to to install Ubuntu over the top of Windows Millennium? If anybody's wondering about the specs on the system, 8 gig hard drive, I think 256 of RAM, Pentium 3 or 2, I think. It's really old. So, uh, what do you think? Um, I'm looking at installing Intrepid Ibex on it. Your comments are mo most appreciated. Thank you for watching. I thank you in advance for your help, and have a nice evening.